Hey guys, for the win here. Uh, today I want to talk about John Rocatello stepping down as the CEO of EA, which pretty much means that he was fired. Uh, this is following the launch of SimCity, which was terrible. Uh, you had to be connected to the internet always. They had always on DRM, which is basically a way to uh, try to control piracy. But for some reason, it never seems to work out right. With SimCity, the servers were just overloaded. Uh, they really did not work right. There was a lot of people losing their save files. People couldn't log on for like a week. So it pretty much screwed up the launch of the game. And it was so bad that EA actually had to um, do some damage control with their PR and give away a free game on Origin. So yeah, it was pretty bad. Also, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding EA recently. I'm not sure if it was John Rigatello or not, but someone from EA recently said that they want all uh, games that are coming out to have microtransactions in them, which are basically like little things that you can buy. Uh, you buy like one or two items at a time for a pretty cheap price. Um, and they want that in every single game, apparently. So that would mean that you need to buy extra weapons, uh, character skins, more cosmetic things. Um, the cosmetic aspect of it doesn't really bother me that much because it doesn't really unbalance the game. Uh, but if you start uh, selling out weapons, a lot of times what happens is that the weapons that you sell tend to be more powerful than the weapons that are given to you in the game. So it turns into this pay to win game which you have to pay money for to get guns that are just way better than what they give you. So that's kind of stupid and a lot of people sort of got a little bit annoyed with that. Um, also all the games that they've been releasing at EA have either been first person shooters or third person shooters. There really haven't been that many games that have sort of broke new ground and uh, done something a little bit different. Um, if you look at Dead Space, it used to be this survival horror game, and now it's sort of just turned into this, like, action third-person shooter with, like, zombies in it, which is so boring. We've seen so many of those, and, uh, Dead Space used to be a great game. I love Dead Space too. It was sort of this horror game, and now it's just a co-op shooter. So, yeah, nice job, EA. Another thing is that their, uh, digital distribution service, Origin sucks really, really badly, and uh, to buy any games made by EA on the PC, you have to download this software, which they sell games through, it's called Origin, and um, it's got so many problems. There's been people that have like lost their games, or have been like banned from Origin for like no reason. And apparently, I've heard that there's spyware in it to check if you have pirated games on your uh, system. So, that's something. <laughs> and also, uh, I have it installed on my computer right now, and sometimes when I have it up, for no reason, it just starts using half of my CPU power and like 2 gigs of RAM. So it's doing something, I have no idea what it's doing. I'm guessing that maybe it's checking for pirated games, I have no clue. So. Yeah, basically you install spyware onto your computer if you want to play any games that come out from EA. So stupid. <laughs> so now that there's a change in leadership at EA, I've got to say that I'm not really that convinced that it's got to make a huge amount of difference. Uh, for some reason I have a feeling that the stockholders are sort of holding most of the power and a lot of things that you see with always on DRM and uh, microtransactions is mostly just to keep the stockholders happy and um, yeah I don't really think that it's necessarily like the company's fault or like leadership's fault but it's more of just being part of a public company and having shareholders that have no clue what gaming is I feel like games always do better when they're more community based if you look at games like Left 4 Dead 2 and Skyrim and uh, things like DayZ, you get these games where it has this huge community surrounding them because they've done something different and they've opened up modding tools and sort of just created this community around it. The games always do really, really good when they have that. And EA really 
does not do that at all. Uh, if you look at Battlefield 3, that was like a perfect example. They didn't release modding tools for some stupid reason, like, oh, the game engine's too powerful, no one could possibly figure it out. Well, that's not true. <laughs> you release modding tools, I'm sure that people will be able to figure it out. They're not freaking idiots. So basically what ends up happening is that you get EA coming out with these games with really weak community interactions and you get people sort of feeling that they're just being milked for money from this huge company that doesn't like respect them or doesn't like the consumers and they're just out for your cash. Especially with microtransactions that's pretty much just a slap in the face because they give you like hats and stuff for like two bucks and if it was opened up to the community you know what? People would be making that stuff for free. But they're too concerned about making like an extra four bucks per every consumer. It probably adds up to pretty much, but still it gets really annoying. So that's my thoughts on it. Are you excited about John Rigtel stepping down? Uh, me personally, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. But uh, I would love to hear your opinion on it. And uh, that's about it. So I will see you guys later. Peace.